Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. On this tutorial, what I'm going to do is, well, I guess you can call it skin smoothing, blemish removal is another name, glamorizing. Uh, there's lots of different things you can call it. Basically what I'm going to do is remove these blemishes from this young lady's face. And there's not many of them, but there are a few. Uh, like here, for instance. There's some down here we can take care of. Uh, a scar up here. Maybe that little funny patch there, one on her nose. I'm going to take care of those, get rid of them, and then we're going to do some other things, and uh, she will look much nicer. She looks pretty good now. So, let's get started. The tool I'm going to use to do this is the clone tool. Now, every version of Photoshop and uh, Elements has the clone tool in it. I know some of the newer versions of Photoshop, like CS, CS2, CS3, and some of the Elements have the patch tool and the healing brush but not everybody has it so this is how you do it with a clone tool. I'm using a Wacom pen of course and I have got my pen set so that it's other dynamics which is opacity so the harder I press the uh, uh, the darker the paint gets and uh, I want to be able to just take these blemishes away gradually. So I'm going to move in close and that's the way you work with the pen with the uh, with the clone tool. You move in as close as you can and uh, work it that way. So. I'm going to set my source as close as possible to the to the, my destination. So I'm going to set a source here. That's alt clicking there, and then just gradually taking it away. You can see it just kind of nicely went away. And we'll take this one away here too. And there's one down there, so I'll set the source up there. And we'll take that one away. Come on over here now. If I took the red from here over to there. I'm making something that's not right, so I'm going to not do that and choose my source right here this time. And away it goes. A couple taps and a couple slides and it's gone. Now this one is a bit more difficult. There, it's gone too. And over here. Now this, this young lady doesn't have an awful lot of blemishes on her skin. Um, but there are some, so I'm going to do some of these to show you how it's done with the pen. And then I'm going to go away, finish this all up, come back, and we'll do the finishing job. Okay, so there's the chin pretty well done. There's something over here we can look after. There we go. That looks pretty good. And when you, when you zoom out, you can see it looks good. Now we got one on the nose here. A scar up there. Let's do the scar. Okay, I guess we're as far as we can get. Again, keep your source as close as possible to your destination. And just gradually move that away. And there it goes. Got rid of that scar. And we'll take this one here from about there. There. And there's something here. Now if I was using a mouse, you'd have a whole different thing because what you're doing with a mouse is this is what you get. You get, well, it doesn't look too bad. Try this one here. You get a little circle that you don't want to have. Uh, and it's it's not as appealing as, as gradually taking it away. So, let's uh, finish this up and I'm going to go away and uh, come back. So I'll see you in a few minutes. To you, it'll be a second. There, I'm back, and this is the finished product. I think I got them all. Uh, things are looking pretty good. So the next step in this procedure is to put a blur on our skin. So we're going to come down here to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And with the Blur tool, or with the Blur filter, you can blur her out of existence. Uh, there's 250. It just makes a glom. Or you can take it down to 0.1. I'm going to put it at 1.0. And uh, when you've got this filter on and you've got this preview window, if you press down on it or click on it, you can see the original and the blur, original and blur. So we're going to take that. There she is. Now her skin is all blurred. It's a bit smoother. Problem is her eyes, her nose, lips, these little creases here, and her eyebrows, they're all, they're all wrong. So what we've got to do is uh, make sure that they're right. So we're going to bring them back. We're going to bring them back with the history brush. And this is a history brush right here. Right there. And what it does is it goes back in history. And I'm going to make sure that I've got this one set this time 
for shape dynamics, which means size. The harder I press, the bigger the brush stroke will be. So we'll zoom in on the eye. There's the eye. Get the history brush again. And just, you can see if I press lightly, I get just a little bit. And I press a bit harder, I get the whole thing. So our eye pops right back in again. That looks good. When you're in this close, it looks kind of weird. But when you back it out, it looks fine. And we can come down some of these little eyelashes here. There we go. Let's move up to the eyebrow and get it back. And up here and up here. Now we're going to zoom out a bit and hurry this along because we only have so many minutes with YouTube. And bring the nose back here and then back here. A little crease there. The lips. There we go. Maybe that little crease there. And let's get to 100%. So pretty much everything is back in the way I want it, and it looks pretty nice. It's, uh, it's a good looking picture now. Except, of course, for this really distracting red glob over here. So we'll take that off, and then we'll be done. So, give it an alt click with the clone tool. And that's gone. And maybe like darken that up a bit. Oh, the other thing we can do is her uh, her top here. There, let's bring that back in. And there we are. So, that's how you do this. So, if you do this on your favorite person here, your mom, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, boyfriend, wow, um, grandma, anybody, they'll love the results because the, the picture is really, really nice. It looks like you cared. So, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful and uh, try it on some of your pictures. I think you'll like it. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And come on over to my site sometime. It's www.the-graphics-tablet.com and I've got some other tutorials on how to use your pen and uh, I think you'll like them too. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next time.